G'day guys, right, so we're in um, another um, van renovation actually, so been doing a couple of van renovations lately, which is pretty fun. Um, so this one is actually quite an interesting story because these guys actually originally bought a vintage van um, and personal circumstances have prevented them from being able to work on that. So they then went and found another van. Um, so this is a 24 foot Jayco Heritage. I don't know how old it is, like mid 2000s, I think. Um, so reasonably old um, couples van. They've actually put bunks in it. Um, so this is where the kids are going to be. Obviously, they've got the um, main couples area at the back there with the bathroom and, and everything they're renovating at the moment. And um, when we first started talking to them, we were going to put a fairly reasonable size um, off-grid package into their vintage van. So instead of doing that, we've just transferred it into this van. Um, so it's a... 560 amp hour system with a 2600 watt inverter. Uh, we've got 1300 watts of solar on the roof and there's still actually space for more panels up there if we really need to, which probably won't do. Um, with full Symarine monitoring package. Um, yeah, so this one, this one's very cool. So we've also got this very old air conditioner. Well, isn't um, an old Coleman? Yeah, very old clunker. So again, I've done a modification to the air conditioner to make it work, but it's it's not something they're going to be able to run very often because it is very, very thirsty on, on juice. As soon as you turn it on, basically it's pulling 13, 1400, 1500 watts out of the system, which is quite a significant amount and there's no variability to that. So it just basically turns on and that's it, it's on. Mm. It's... Um, so we've got much solar on the roof and it's, let's say it's summer and they've got full sun. Yeah. Um, yeah. They could run, they could obviously run yeah. it, but just it's still going becomes to be... a balancing yeah. act. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they're no, they're certainly no, um, nowhere near as efficient as the new air conditioners as mm. the, say the Ibis 4 or the Harrier um, Plus. Um, even the Ibis 3s, like even the, even the previous versions of the Ibis, they still have some variability in the way that they operate. Um, so yeah, this one, this one's pretty much just a, a super simple package that we've um, rewired, actually, so we've, I've actually rewired the 240 on this. So they had a, um, an inlet on the van on the outside there, which um, for various reasons couldn't the compliant cable sizes were incorrect. Um, you know, there's, it had to be replaced anyway because it was super old and you know corroded and all that sort of stuff. So what I've actually done is I've put a um, a new inlet, RCD inlet, out here on the outside. So um, this is all 240 volt. This stuff, is all is 240 it? volt yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I've um, run that down through into the inverter, um, and then backfed the inverter into the van system so that then we can make that part of the circuit compliant. So um, obviously being sparky, I'm um, licensed to do that sort of work. Um, so once this is done, we'll sign it off, put the ticket in to say that it's complete with, with our supply authority, which is energy safety here in Western Australia. Um, and yeah, basically give them a ticket, give them a compliance ticket which says yep it's it's compliant to the standards um so yeah they've they've got a few things to do as you can see it's sort of midway through their reno they've you know they've started partially painting they've got um you know no fridge in here they're actually going to put a bushman 190 liter in here um so that'll obviously run you know they're super efficient fridges so that'll run no problems off this system so that um, runs off the um, inverter, or no, does it run straight off, off 12, battery. 12, yeah, battery, straight yeah. off twelve? Yeah, straight off twelve volts. Yeah. it's actually a twelve volt only fridge. Yeah. Okay. And so the power points that are in here, so mm. um, because uh, they can just plug straight into that now with their inverter on. Yep, they can. So turn the inverter on here, um, and then yeah, every power point in the van's available to use. Um, as I say, the air conditioners. A clunker, but it works as you can see. So, uh, 240 volts fully integrated to all your to um, your 
power points. Um, air conditioners wired up to the inverter so it can be run off grid as well. Yep. Um, and excellent. Oh, we put tanking system in this one as well. So Cymarine, we've actually got, it's not, um, they're, they're going to replace the tanks. So we haven't actually put calibration points in for them yet, but they've got two tanks. So water tanks. Two and, water tanks, um, yeah. Grey water tanks. No grey water tank, just two fresh water tanks. So I've programmed them up ready to go for when they're ready to put the sensors in. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the Cymarine system is is a like a caravan management system in this in this particular build. So it's doing everything. We pulled out the old Jayco um, battery management system, inverted commas. It's kind of like a, a 240 volt charger with some distribution in it. Um, I've just literally ripped that out um, and put a fuse block in for that. Um, so all the 12 volt loads come off a fuse which is fed from the batteries. Um, yeah, so yeah, they're ready to go. They're actually on their way to come pick it up. So I think they're going to start traveling once they finish the reno and, and head over east and get on with it. Amazing. Let's have a quick look at the build. So the brains and the battery workhorse. And the information center so you can monitor everything that's going on. Thanks guys. If you want any, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to get in touch um, either on social media or via email or feel free to give us a call. Cheers. Speak to you soon.